had a lot of great quotes throughout the years. And I ran across one of them recently that explains how we look at this, explains why we go about doing things the way we do, because we love software. And here's the quote. People who are really serious about software should make their own hardware. You know? Alan said this 30 years ago. And this is how we feel about it. And so we're bringing breakthrough software to a mobile device for the first time. It's five years ahead of anything on any other phone. The second thing we're doing is we're learning from the iPod, syncing with iTunes. You know, we're going to ship our 100 millionth iPod this year, and that's a, tens of millions of people that know how to sync these devices with their PCs or Mac and sync all of their media right onto their iPod, right? So you just drop your iPod in, and it automatically syncs. You're going to do the same thing with iPhone. It automatically syncs to your PC or Mac right through iTunes. And iTunes is going to sync all your media onto your iPhone, your music, your audiobooks, podcasts, movies, TV shows, music videos. But it also syncs a ton of data. Your contacts, your calendars, and your photos, which you can get on your iPod today, your notes, your, your bookmarks from your web browser, your email accounts, your whole email setup, all that stuff can be moved over to iPhone completely automatically. It's really nice. And we do it, we do it through iTunes. Again, you go to iTunes and you set it up, just like you'd set up an iPod or an Apple TV. And you set up what you want synced to your iPhone. And it's just like an iPod. Charge and sync. So sync with iTunes. Third thing I want to talk about a little is design. We've designed something wonderful for your hand. Just wonderful. And this is what it looks like. It's got a three and a half inch screen on it. It's really big. And it's the highest resolution screen we've ever shipped. It's 160 pixels per inch. Highest we've ever shipped. It's gorgeous. And on the front, there's only one button down there. We call it the home button. It takes you home from wherever you are. And that's it. Let's take a look at the side. It's really thin. It's thinner than any smartphone out there at 11.6 millimeters, thinner than the Q, thinner than the blackjack, thinner than all of them. It's really nice. And we've got some controls on the side. We've got a little switch for ring and silent. We've got a volume up and down control. Let's look at the back. On the back, the biggest thing of note is we've got a two megapixel camera built right in. The other side, and we're back on the front. So let's take a look at the top now. We've got a headset jack, three and a half millimeter. All your iPod headphones fit right in. We've got a place, a little tray for your SIM card. And we've got one switch for sleep and wake. Just push it to go to sleep, push it to wake up. Let's take a look at the bottom. We've got a speaker. We've got a microphone. And we've got our 30-pin iPod connector. So that's the bottom. Now, we've also got some stuff you can't see. We've got three really advanced sensors built into this phone. The first one is a proximity sensor. It senses when physical objects get close. So when you bring iPhone up to your ear, take a phone call, it turns off the display, and it turns off the touch sensor instantly. Well, why do you want to do that? Well, one, to save battery, but two, so you don't get spurious inputs from your face into the touch screen. Just automatically turns them off, take it away, boom, it's back on. So it's got a proximity sensor built in. It's got an ambient light sensor as well. We sense the ambient lighting conditions and adjust the brightness of the display to match the ambient lighting conditions. Again, better user experience saves power. And the third thing we've got is an accelerometer so that we can tell when you switch from portrait to landscape. It's pretty cool. I'll show it to you in a minute. So three advanced sensors built in. So let's go ahead and turn it on. This is the size of it. It fits beautifully in the palm of your hand. So, an iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. Let's start with the iPod. You can touch your music. You can just touch your music. It's so cool. You've got a widescreen video. You can find your music even faster. Gorgeous album art on this display built-in speaker, and why not? Cover flow. First time ever on an iPod. 
And so rather than talk about this some more, let me show it to you. All righty. Now, I've got some special, special iPhones up here. They've got a little special board in them and a, so I can get some digital video out. I've got a little cord here which goes up to these projectors. And uh, so I got some great images, and you get to see what it really looks like. So let me, I've got a camera here so you can see what I'm doing with my finger for a few seconds. And uh, let me go ahead and get that picture within picture up. I'm going to go ahead and just push the sleep wake button. And there we go, right there. And to unlock the phone, I just take my finger and slide it across. All right? You want to see that again? Go to sleep. We wanted something that you couldn't do by accident in your pocket. And just slide it across, boom. And this is the home screen of iPhone right here. And so if I want to get in the iPod, I just go down that lower right-hand corner and push this icon right here, and boom, I'm in the iPod. I want to get home, I push the home button right here, and I'm home. Back in the iPod, I'm back in the iPod. Now here I am, you see five buttons across the bottom, playlists, artists, songs, videos, and more. I'm an artist right now. Well, how do I scroll through my list of artists? How do I do this? I just take my finger and I scroll. That's it. Isn't that cool? Get a little rubber banding up when I run off the edge. And if I want to pick somebody, let's say I want to pick the Beatles, I just tap them. And here's the Beatles songs with their albums right here. I want to play Sgt. Peppers, I just hit Sgt. Peppers right there. And uh, you know, a little help from my friends. Look at this gorgeous album artwork here. Of course, I got a volume control. Now, I've got a little button up in the corner right here. You can see in the upper right hand corner, I can hit that and flip the album art around. Here's all the other songs back here. And I can play Lovely Rita if I want to. Flip it back around. Very simple. Right, I can set some stars back here just by setting the arrows. Right, that's a five star album. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Now, let me show you something else. I just take my unit here and I turn it landscape mode. Oh, look what happens. I'm in cover flow. Let's go into Dylan here. Let's play like a Rolling Stone. I just thumb through. Thumb through my albums. It's real easy. Anytime I find something I like, I can just turn it around and play something. It's that easy. that simple. Isn't that great? Yeah. All right. I could play with this for a long time. Uh, now, again, I've got playlists here. I can go into my playlists. I've got artists. I've got songs. Uh, I've got more over here. I've got, you know, albums. I've got a great album view, again, that shows all my album artwork right here if I want. Uh, and uh, I've also got audio books and compilations and things like that. I've also got videos here. So I push videos, and uh, I've got here, I've got a podcast, 